Hey, what's up, guys? This is 3D Bonfire back with another amazing tutorial. And this time I want to share this beautiful particle reveal effect for the Barbie logo with you. So we are going to create these little particle cannons here, which fire these streams of particles towards the center, and then they will reveal the logo. OK, so I think this is a pretty cool effect. And this is what we are going to create today. Just be sure that the full breakdown of the project will be on my Patreon 3D Bonfire as always. So if you want to consider the night tail, you will get a lot of cool stuff, a lot of cool exclusive tutorials, also promo codes for my Gumroad, where you save up to 50% on all of these products. But if you don't want to become a patron, it would still be amazing if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, ring the bell, do the good stuff, write a comment. That would be just amazing. This is me on Instagram, Marcus Gonzo 3 d If you want to follow my latest artworks, then this is the right place for you. But other than that, I would say let's just fire up Cinema 4D and have some fun, okay? All right, guys, finally in Cinema 4D. And you can see that the simulation is already cached, so I can scrub through my timeline. I could also quickly activate the relative render view to just prove to you that this one is looking really nice. So you can see the particles here. Let's jump to another frame where you get this beautiful dusty cloud of particles. And it just looks amazing, OK? So I think for now, this is enough about Redshift. So let's just close this one. I'm going to press Shift V, go to Save Frames. Let's get rid of the borders here. So I think mm, the best idea would be for YouTube here to keep it simple. And I guess we want to just start in a new scene. And let's just create one of these particle cannons. OK, so and therefore I will go to Insidium here, go to X particle emitter. Let's just use this emitter here. Let's go to object. I think I want to have this one as a circle. And I also want to fire this one up. All right, let's just see how this one is looking. OK, so that's a start. But of course, this is nothing like a cannon. So let's just go to emission and let's set this one for example to pulse now you get these single shots of particles that's a good start but it looks more like a boat with steam coming out of it okay so totally ridiculous i think i want to have an impulse every 60 frames and i want to have the impulse going for like five frames each time all right slowly we are getting there maybe i want to create just a little bit more of particles here maybe i just increase my timeline to 120 and let's say we want to have oh you know what i want to put this one to 160 so we get like three impulses of these particles and that's looking good and i think they have to be way faster so let's put this one to 1500 for example okay this is already better i also want to angle it to make it more interesting so let's put this one to for example 20 degrees all right so now the particles are shooting like this i think this is good let's also give it a variation in the speed something like that i also want to increase the radius and also give it some variation here. I go to display and set this one to circle filled so we can see the different particle sizes. So when you go closer to it, you can see that we get different sized spheres of particles. This is going into the right direction. But now I think we definitely need to have some forces in the scene. So for example, I want to work with gravity. Let's see. OK, gravity is taking over. I think this is interesting. Let's change the gravity depending on the age of our particles and let's put this one to 60 for example so gradually gravity is taking over okay now you get this beautiful movement here i really like it this is good i think we need a couple more modifiers here so let's go to nexus and how about an nx drag to simulate some resistance in the air okay so this one will totally slow down your particles all right now it is going like this and you can also see and depending on the size of your particles they reach a different distance so the bigger ones that will be held back by the air more by the nx drag parameter and yeah this is more realistic so i think this is a good thing i just want to restrict this one to 20 and maybe we will also map this one to the age let's see how this one is looking all right more or less i think this is going into a good direction i just want to go to emission and let's set this one to 3000 and the variation of 1000 all right so now this is shooting a little bit more outwards i also want to give me more frames here 250 and I think I don't want to emit the whole lifespan, but I want to maybe emit only to 121. So basically, we should get one shot and a second shot and a third shot. And then this should be it. OK, so this is good. What we are missing now is turbulence. OK, so let's go into Insidium, X particles once again, Nexus, and let's grab a turbulence. I want to use the simplex. I think this is good. Let's set this one to 50. Let's just see how this one is looking. All right. 
right. So I kind of like it, but overall it's too much of the same noise texture overall. So I think I need to change the scaling of this one. Let's make it stronger. And once again, I think I want to map this one to the age. Let's reach the full power of this effect after 30 frames. I think this is good. Let's see this one more time. All right, and I think that this is kind of a good start here. Okay, so now you get this beautiful noise pattern. And honestly, I think this is not that bad. What we could do on top of it is to go here once again and grab a wind effector. Let's see. I just want to blow it a little bit more to the left side of my screen. Okay, so let's just see where this one is going. I want to rotate it 90 degrees into this direction. And when I now go into the wind and set this one to 500, for example, with a variation of 50. Let's just see how this one is looking. All right, let's see. Let's put this one to 5000. Okay, now you clearly can see the wind effect. Okay, okay, that's a pretty strong wind. So I think I want to put this one to 1500. Okay, let's see this one again. Something like this, only with a variation of 10, I would say. All right, and there you get your particle cannon. Of course, you can tweak the settings way more. So I think overall, I like the movement of these particles. But now we have the problem that they just live forever in the scene. And I think this is something that I want to change here. Let's go once again into the Nexus modifiers. And I think I need an NX scale. All right, and we want to change the scale over time. And we don't want to increase it, but we want to decrease it. And I think something like 0.1 could be a good value. So let's just see how this one is looking. All right, and there you go. So now you can see that these particles slowly fade out and turn into dust. They disappear. And I think this is such a beautiful effect. All right, guys. And I think this is it for the free YouTube lesson. Now you know how to create one of these particle cannons. You got all of the basics to create different looks for it with different turbulence and wind and stuff like that. But just be sure that the full project breakdown as most of the time will be on my Patreon. There I will just go more into depth. I We'll also talk about the upress effect to create even more detailed simulations and stuff like that. Also, my goal is for the next weeks to focus completely on Nexus and X particle stuff again on my Patreon. So if you want to learn more about Nexus and Insidium tools overall, then I would say my Patreon is a good place to learn for you. Okay. So other than that, thank you so much for your time. Be powerful, be prolific, have an awesome day. Bye everyone.